Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Stroh Center on the campus of Bowling Green State University, where tonight, in the Division III Regional Semifinals, the Ottawa Glandorf Titans tackle the Oregon Cardinals Stritch Cardinals. I'm Danny Hoverg alongside Darren Evergo and our entire WSN crew. And our pregame tonight is presented by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in greater Lima area, serving Lima for 100 years. We are proud to call Lima home. Sadar, a big opportunity for Cardinal Stritch against the number one team in the state. Oh, absolutely. And it's going to be quite a barn burger, I think, too, between these two. Cardinal Stritch been in the district finals a couple times, lost both times. You know, Ottawa Glendorf state runners up last year. So, And for know. Ottawa Glendorf, it's business as usual, another district crown into the regionals. Oh, yeah. And, they, and they've dominated so far and, and all throughout the tournament. So let's see if they can continue that tonight. Let's take a look at the keys. First, let's start with Cardinal Stritch. Well, for the Cardinals, the big thing is, is they have to limit turnovers. Now, that's a big thing to do against this Ottawa Glendorf team. The other thing, too, is they've got to box out and rebound. They've got a definite disadvantage when it comes to height against this OG team. And the last thing is play Cardinal Stritch basketball. Now, what I mean by that is play hard, play a good inside-out game against the Titans. And for the Titans, they're looking to get back to the regional finals. They were here last year. They're the number one team in the state, and clearly they're the favorite in this game. Oh, absolutely, and they want to own the paint. There's no doubt about that. And like I said, they have the height advantage, so they can do that. The next thing they want to do is they want to push these guys off the three-point line. Now, the Burton kid for Cardinal Stritch is a guy you got to keep away from there. He hit four big threes in the game against Huron to win that game, so you got to keep him away from the three-point line. And the last thing is be aggressive. Now, we all know Ottawa Glendorf. That's always been Ottawa Glendorf, is aggressive basketball from start to finish. It's the regional semifinals from the Sos Stroh Center. It's Oregon Cardinal Stritch. It's Ottawa Glendorf. We'll have the action right here on WSN. Stroh Center on the campus of Bowling Green State University for tonight's regional semifinal in Division Three between the Ottawa Landorf Titans and the Cardinals. Cardinals. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Dar Nevergal. And Dar, <laughs> big task for Cardinals Stritch against the number one team in the state of Iowa. Oh, it definitely will be a big task for them. They, they definitely don't have the height. The biggest guy they got on their roster is a six foot four. Now they do have a, a good inside out game. The Burton kid's a good outside shooter. You got to keep on him all night long. But I'll tell you what, you know, this Ottawa Glendorf team is just hitting on all cylinders. And, you know, they play aggressive from the start to the finish, so you really got to be on the game. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineup for the Cardinals. Stritch Cardinals, they'll start number one, Tommy Taylor, a 5'10 junior. Number two, Breon Hicks is a 6'3 senior. Number 10, Christian Burton is a 5'10 senior. Number 12, Owen Carter is a 5'8 senior. And rounding out the starting five, number 21, Cam Hughes is a 6'4 senior. For the Ottawa Landorf Titans, they'll start number three, Grant Schrader, a 6'1 junior at 3.9 a game. Number 11, Theo Mag is a 6'7 senior at 12.5 a game. Number 21, Hunter Stecksholdy, 6'2 senior at 8.5 a game. And the leading scorer for the Titans, number 22, Colin White, a 6'6 junior at 20.5 a game. And rounding out the starting five, number 24, Caden Erford, a 6'4 junior at 13.7. Cardinal Stritch is coached by Sedlon Harris at 22 and 3, number 8 ranking in the Martin RPI. And out of the Glendorf, Tyson McLaughlin in his 10th season, 22 and 3. Tonight's regional semifinal was presented by Simplified Flooring. We install with accuracy and efficiency so you can start enjoying your home's new look as soon as possible. That's Simplified Flooring. And you look at Ottawa Glendorf, Dar, it's business as usual as we talked in the pregame. You want to talk about a, a district title domination, what they did to a really good Spencerville team. It had all of us there in attendance just blown away. The lockdown defense was amazing. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, you know, and that's the kind of play they do all the time. I mean, you know, they start out, you know, they press right away. You know, they get after you. They got long arms. They've got quick feet. You know, they're all, all over the place. And you know, a lot of things, you look at Colin White, for example. People forget he's only a junior. <laughs> right. yeah. I mean, he's got he's, another year he's, to go. He's a pup, I mean. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was talking to another broadcasting team here, sitting with us on, on Media Row, and they're like, "Tell us about the Colin White. Tell us about White." And, and they were so wanting all this information, and I, I told them, "Like, look, for my money, best player in the state of Ohio. I well, really believe that." They're going to get an opportunity to see that tonight. <laughs> so Erford will corral it for the Titans, and they will start on offense. We are underway. 
from the Division III Regional Semifinals, the Stroh Center on the campus of Bowling Green State. And look, uh, Dart, we knew that Ottawa Glandorf would fill their side. They absolutely destroyed they it. They filled it their is side <laughs> and clear around the corner. <laughs> it is blue and gold everywhere you look. Cardinal Stritch has a few fans. I mean, they've got quite a few fans, but they are outnumbered 70-30 uh, but easily. <laughs> absolutely. And I'll tell you what, Danny, in this game here, one of the guys but you really got to watch. You know, everybody talks about Colin White, but Caden Urford was just playing out of his mind. He's a fantastic shooter. He, I, I think, for my money, he's the best shooter on the team. And he, when he spots up, he is deadly from the outside. There's White for the drive. He'll push it inside the mag. Mag thought about shooting, but he'll kick it back out. They all, you know, a lot of people ask me about the glue guy, and I always talk about Hunter Stegshaw. And a nice left-handed layup by Theo Mag. He puts the Titans on top of the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. 2 nothing with 7.08 to play. Well, that's one guy, too, that kind of, people kind of forget about is Theo Mag. Our scoreboard tonight is provided by Ultimate Outdoor, the high distributor of the structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts, seamless spouting. Well, there's the first turnover already for uh, Cardinal Stritch. That was our first call tonight. First call sponsor is Production Products Incorporated. Columbus Grove is hiring, offering great opportunities to advance a free on-site medical clinic. Apply today at MidwayProducts.com. Productions Products. Right, first call. Colin White from way downtown. He knocks in a Dale's concrete three-pointer, and it's 5-0 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Colin uh, White, a 31% three-point shooter, and you can see why. He has such a smooth release. Gets real good with it. You know, height on that shot. You watch him play, and he does not surprise you with what he can do. He is really, really talented. There's a nice drive, and you saw there Tommy Taylor, the 5'10 junior, takes it up left-handed, not afraid to go inside. No, and they can't be afraid to go inside against this team. White swings it around. They swing it back to Schroeder. Schroeder swings it over. They're looking for Mag down low. Mag probably tied it down low. He'll turn around, take it up left-handed. Theo Mag doing some work down low in the basement. And he makes it 7-2 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Mag's got four with 5.56 to play in the first quarter. And I expect a big game from Theo Mag. You know, he's up against Cam Hughes, the tallest guy that Carter Stritch has out there. But, you know, Theo Mag just has nice what, moves yeah, under that. The, the, the guys from the other production crew were asking who's the most underrated player, and I said Theo Mag. Theo absolutely, Mag, absolutely, Theo Mag. He can do so much. And you saw the athleticism there, Dar. There's a nice little runner there. It goes off the mark, and there we talked about him earlier. There's Theo Mag with a big rebound. White will bring it down the left side. Thought about pulling up and taking the jumper, but they'll reset the offense. Well, that's the other thing for Mag. He averages almost eight rebounds a game, too. There's a scrum on the floor. They get the ball out. Mag comes out to help. Cardinal Stritch is all over the ball. There's a three from the right side, and it's good. Keaton Erford knocks in the triple. Another Dale's concrete three. And we've got our first Metzger financial timeout of the night. With 5.08 to play, the Titans control the game 10-2. Tonight's three-point sponsor is Dale's Concrete. Score big with Dale's Concrete and decorative stamping and lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. Our timeout is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So let's hope, Dar, we get a lot of Dale's concrete threes tonight out of the <laughs> Titans. There's a nice dribble drive, and there you see number 21, Cam Hughes, the 6'4 senior. And boy, he just split the middle, takes it up, and he makes it 10-4 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, the Titans got to do a better job underneath there. Hunter Stecksholdy from the right corner. Another Dale's concrete three, and he makes it 13-4 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard, and the Titans are lighting it up from outside. That's three for three for three-point range for the Titans so far. <laughs> so everything we talked about in that district final against Spencerville, they're playing at a level I've not seen. I mean, we've covered them a lot this year, but I'm telling you, Coach McLaughlin has got them playing at a level I've never seen before. Well, and you can already see Cardinal Stritch guys are really kind of sucking wind a little <laughs> right bit right now. now. <laughs> you know, they got to get out there on those three-point shots. And there you see another great job by Cam Hughes of getting good position down low. And they've got athleticism in the middle. And I think they're going to have to go inside a lot more. There's Mag takes it up, and he's blocked. Mag was blocked by Hughes. Here come the Cardinals. They'll bring it down the middle of the floor. This is Brad, excuse me, this is Christian Burton, who we've talked about quite a bit tonight. He's the leader on the floor for the Cardinals. Yeah, Burton averaging almost 17 points a game. And like I said, he had, 
four big three-pointers. In fact, he scored 14 in the last 20 points in the game against Huron to get him to this position. Well, you, you talked earlier, and you, one of the keys for Cardinal Stretch was to box out and rebound, and right now, Otto Glendale just owning the doors. Well, they, you know, they, and we kind of figured that. They do have the definite night to hand. There's a steal out top by Breon Hicks, and he hammers it home. Breon Hicks, the 6'3 senior. He says, dunk you very much. And he makes it 13-8 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. There's Steck Shorty. He comes right back. Hunter Steck Shorty knocks in the deuce. And he makes it 15-8 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard with 3.23 to go in the first quarter. Well, that's one thing, Danny, about this auto Glendale team. Everybody out there are shooters, and everybody's dangerous. They never get rattled. No, they Even don't. When they're down, when they're up, when, when they make a run, they never get rattled. There you see a nice dribble drive go to the middle, and that goes off the mark. Christian Burton tries to take it in amongst the biggins, and he gets swatted away. Here come the Titans. They'll bring it down the floor. White just almost loses the ball. He'll get it back to stick short. 2.57 to go. Titans lead 15-8. Hunter Stenshaw with a dribble drive on the right side. And he is fouled by Burton. He will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima. Wapak and Duffus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. If you watch here, there's the steal. And he flushes it home. Three on hits. And a great instant replay. Our instant replays tonight. Made possible by Beckman Jewelers in downtown Ottawa. Let us help you find that perfect gift for the ones you love. Uh, the one thing I've noticed about Cardinal Strip is they don't have much height, but they, no, do, they, have, they do have jumping ability. They, yeah. they, they have a lot of athleticism, and they have ball handlers that can penetrate and get to the rim. We've already seen that on several occasions. This is Owen Carter with the ball on top. He'll swing it over to Burton. Burton with the dribble drive, take it in. And there you saw the quickness of Burton as he goes around Dave Westrick. Dave Westrick, the 6'7 junior in the game now for the Titans. And that's going to be a problem all night. Watch Steck Shorty take it in. Misses the little jump, a little runner. The ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to go back to Ottawa Lando. I love the fact, Dar, that when they do give up a bucket like they did to Burton, they're running back down the floor. There's yeah. no quit. In There's guys. no quit at all. And they've got great conditioning. They can run oh. all night long. Well, and they upped their schedule, too, this year. You saw the teams that they lost oh, to, yeah. and they understood what they needed to do to get to the next level. There's White. As he pump fakes the ball, kicks it back out. They'll go Erford. Erford tries to go back down to Western. The ball goes out of bounds. Go back to Carter Stritch. That's the second turnover for Otto Glendorf. Yeah, they, the three losses they had were Princeton, L Lutheran West, Lutheran West still in. and Lima Senior. And, and, and the Lima Senior game is a big rivalry game. Yeah, it is absolutely. Big. But they've been on a roll ever since then. Oh, Cardinal Stritz throws the ball away, and it's corralled by number 12, Owen Carter. Gets it back to Hughes. Hughes goes back to Carter. Carter guarded by Westrick out top. Quickness goes to Cardinal Stritz, but the height goes to Dave Westrick at 6'7", and Owen Carter at 5'8". Kind of a mismatch on the uh, defensive level there. Well, if you look at the Otto Glendorf lineup right now, I don't think there's anybody under 6'2". There's a nice job. You see Breon Hicks takes it down low. He goes right up and he knocks it in. Makes it 16-12 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. So Cardinal Stricks coming right back at Ottawa Glendorf, showing no fear or not afraid to go inside at all. The question is, is can they keep up this pace? Underbrink trying to take it inside. Levi Underbrink, the 6-1 senior, and again now for Ottawa Glendorf. White from the top of the key. Off the mark, rebound comes down. It's corralled by Christian Burton. He'll go up the right side. Cardinal Stritz down 16-12. Burton takes it in, and he's going to get a foul. He's going to go to the Lee's Famous Recipe line, and he'll shoot two. Here you see the instant replay. Just quickness as he gets around Hunter Stekshaw. And that's a problem, Dar. They're going to have to address that. Instead of moving your hands, they're going to have to move their feet. They're going to have to position themselves between them and the basket. Well, they're going to have to get somebody else to come in and double up on him, too, and, and try to take that away from him. Once he gets that one step around somebody, somebody else has got to back up the throw on that one. And he knocks in the first one. Tonight's free throw is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima Wapak and Delphus. All these for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style. Uh, yeah, no kid. It's going to be a long game right. to keep that up, Danny. <laughs> well, I hope we do it a lot because that means uh, somebody's going to the line a lot. So he knocks in the second one. He makes it 16 to 14 on the alternate outdoor scoreboard. Next show we bring it down. He's guarded by Christian Burton. We talked about him quite a bit already. 
Swing up. Three ball from the left side. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to White. He puts it back. Oh, no. Colin White is fouled by Burton. And there you saw the jumping ability and the strength of Colin White as he catches the ball at the high point. Just see how he goes up with his left hand. Watch how he switches hands here, Dar. Really nice move. Oh, he's just athletic all the way around. <laughs> and if you notice out there, right now, Colin White is being guarded by number one out there for Cardinals Grits. Tommy, Tommy Taylor. Taylor at 5'10". Yes, I saw that. So Colin White goes the line, knocks in the first one. Second on the way, it's off the mark. White's got four on the night, and they're going to get Colin White on the foul. So look at the chess match here. Ottawa Glendorf with the height, Cardinal Stritch with the quickness, and let's see which one wins here. There's a long baseball pass down to Breon Hicks as he gets behind the defense. Misses the layup. White with the rebound. He'll bring it down. Steck Schulte gets it over to Schrader. Back to White. White dribble drive. Ball's knocked away, and it's corralled by Schrader. He throws it out of bounds. Currently threw it off of Tommy Taylor in the Cardinal Strips. So I thought the ball went out of bounds without touching anybody, but it appears it went off of the Cardinal Strips player. And not a lot of room over there to no, be bouncing not. the ball off of somebody. Caden Erford will trigger that in, coming to Stick Shorty. Stick Shorty is guarded by Christian Burton. 32 seconds to go. Titans lead 17 14. Swing around, Schroeder gets back up. Stick Shorty thought about taking the three. Gardner Fitz will show some real quickness on defense with their hands. Stick Shorty will bring it up top. They're doing a real nice job of switching off on guys as well. Down to 10 seconds. Looking over to Mag. Mag guarded up top by Cam Hughes. Let go Colin White. Colin White with the ball, three seconds. Jumper from the left side, knocks it in. Colin oh. White, and that, folks, is why he is one of the best players in the state of Ohio. After one quarter of play from the Strosen on the campus of Bowling Green State University, the Ottawa Glendorf Titans lead the Oregon Cardinal Strips Cardinals. Our first call sponsor tonight is Production Products Incorporated. Columbus Road is hiring, offering great opportunities to advance and a free on-site medical clinic. Apply today at midwayproducts.com. Tonight's game sponsor, our presenting sponsor is Simplified Farm. We install with accuracy and efficiency so you can start enjoying your home's new look as soon as possible. That's Simplified Farm. So partner, 19-14 after one quarter, and I thought Oregon Cardinal Stricks did a great job of keeping it close with their athleticism to get to the rim. And their shooting is good really well. They're, they're six for nine in that first quarter. They didn't shoot any three-point shots. They took everything to the basket. You know, they, and you look at Ottawa Glendorf, they finished seven for 12. They were three for four from three-point range. You know, with seven for 12 overall. So Cardinal Stricks will take the ball here in the second quarter. Down 19-14 with 7.42 to go. Danny Holbert, Dar Nevergall from the beautiful Stroh Center on the campus of Bowling Green State University. This is absolutely a gorgeous facility. I love coming up here for regional games, Dar. It, it's, it's, it's spacious. It's, it's, it's everything you want in an arena. Oh, it certainly is. And I'll tell you what, with all these people in here, it is warm in here <laughs> right. as well. And you can tell it on the players out there. So I'm, the question is, is can Cardinal Stritch stay with Keep these guys that, yeah, all night long? That's, that's a great point, Dar. Hunter Stickshaw with the steal there. He gets it to Erford. Erford takes the three, and it's blocked by Hughes. Hughes blocked him from behind. Burton runs it up the right side. Shot goes up. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Colin White. And right now, we got a track meet, Dar, as both teams are just running and running. Well, and that's going to favor Otto Glendorf, absolutely. Absolutely, with their depth. White with a little triple drive to the foul line. Off the mark. Gets his own rebound. Takes it up strong from the right side. He's fouled. He knocks it in. Colin White with the old-fashioned three-pointer, and he'll go to the Lee's famous recipe foul line. Take a look at the block here from Cam Hughes. Burton corrals it, brings it down, goes up the right side, made a nice effort to get there, and then watch Colin White as he takes it in. You talk about strength. Oh, what a tough shot, wow. too. Instant replay, our instant replay sponsor is Beckman Jewelers in downtown Ottawa. Let us help you find that perfect gift for the ones you love. So Colin White goes to the Lee's famous recipe foul line. And he knocks them both in. Makes it 22 14 on the Altamont Outdoor scoreboard. White's got nine to lead all scores. And that's nine hard fought points yeah, as well. A, yeah, that's a great point. He's been guarded pretty heavily all night. Nice job of getting the ball down low. 
There's an easy bucket. There you see number four, Owen Yost, the 5'11 junior, enters the game now. He gets an easy bucket. And there's Cardinal Stritch not going away. And that's five players now in the scoring column for Cardinal Stritch. Over and almost threw the ball right into the hands of Burton. White Barraza takes it inside, and oh my goodness, Colin White showing you his athleticism on the left side. And he makes it 24-16 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And I'll tell you what, Danny, what control your body. That, that is a 6-6 wing player doing that. Here he is from the left side, three ball on the way. It's off the mark, gets his own rebound, goes out of bounds, and will go back to Ottawa Glendale. That's what people, you know, when they ask me about him, and I tell him he's 6-6, and he, he, he just the body control oh, yeah. is just amazing. Yeah, you couldn't tell by looking at it. <laughs> we got a timeout on the floor with 5.55 to go in the second quarter. The Titans lead 24-16. You're watching high school basketball. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is provided by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts, Seamless Spouting. And our instant replays are made possible by Beckman Jewelers in downtown Ottawa. Let us help you find that perfect gift for the ones you love. Right now, Colin White's loving that rim because he's getting there often. <laughs> yeah, and he's following up his shots really well, too. And, you know, it's going to be tough to try to stop and keep him out of there. Like I say, he says, great body control. You know, he kind of moves around underneath there and, and just seems to find seams that aren't there. Erford will trigger it in and go inside the mag. Mag spins it around. Thought about taking the shot. He'll go back to stick, Shorty. Dribble drive foul line. Thought about the jumper. Back to White. What I like about him, he knows exactly what and when his team needs. Oh, like, nice. I mean, what a great pass inside the mag. Mag picks his rebound up and misses the shot. Theo Mag with a great job of getting inside. He'll go to the Lee's famous recipe foul line with a chance to knock in two. And that's the other thing with Colin White is you're going to draw everybody to you and you can just throw that pass into Theo Mag and that was a great pass into him. You made a great point earlier. Cardinal Stritch is making every shot difficult. Credit OG for staying with loose balls, staying with missed shots, and they're doing a great job of second chance points. They certainly are. Mag misses the first one. You know, Theo, a 73% free throw shooter. Second one on the way. And he misses that one, so Theo Mag misses two. He's got four right now for the Titans. Then it stays at 24-16 on the ultimate outdoor score. There's Burton with a nice drive in the middle. He misses that shot, rebound comes down to Mag. Mag gets it out to White. White goes across court to Erford. Erford takes it in and scores. Caden Erford, the 6'4 junior, knocks in the deuce and he makes it 26-16. Erford's got three. Boy, he made that look easy. <laughs> he did. Way too easy. Cam Hughes goes cross court inside and a nice job by Breon Hicks. And Breon Hicks is playing really well. He's got six for the Cardinals. Well, he's playing really well without the ball, and that's the big thing for him right now. Is he's getting himself open. He's coming across on that left or right and just, you know, finding a seam right there, and they've been able to feed the ball into him. So Schrader loses the ball. They'll go back inside the mag. Mag guarded by Hughes. Mag puts his shoulder into him, takes it up, and a, oh, my goodness, Theo Mag shows you. The strength right there from the 6'7 senior as he goes into Cam Hughes, scores the bucket, makes it 28-18 on the night. Well, I'll tell you what, Danny, that looked like, you know, I'm going to prove something right here. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's know. exactly <laughs> right. There's a three-pointer from the right side that goes off the mark. Here comes Colin White, gets it to Erford, beating everybody down the floor, and Caden Erford switches hand, goes up and scores, and he makes it 30-18 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And that's seven points now for Erford. And I think this is really a personal challenge for Theo oh. Mag tonight. You watch him on both ends of the court, and he's really hammering it away, I think, between him and Hughes. I think that's a great observation. He is playing fired up basketball right now. And you saw Cam Hughes get behind the defense, misses the shot, Mag blocks him. Hughes takes it back up. Off the mark, rebound comes down. It's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to go back to Otto Glandorf. And you couldn't have said it better. And look at the look on Theo Mag's face. Uh, he, he is determined tonight. He is. He knew what the challenge was going to be against this Hughes kid, who's a pretty decent ball player out there. And well, Cam Hughes is 6'4". He looks a lot bigger. Oh, look yeah, how well, thick he, he is. He is a big young man. Yeah, he jumps at 6'9", though. <laughs> 
Hunter Brink into the game now. Mag cuts down low. He's going to take it up strong, and he knocks it in. It's the Theo Mag show right now, folks. It's 32-18, and Theo's got eight on the night. And those were all power moves by that young man. <laughs> Unbelievable. The OG in a tight one at the end of the first quarter, kind of getting some separation here with 332. There's a steal from Unterbrink, and he misses the little shot, but he puts it back up. Levi Unterbrink knocks it in, and he makes it 34-18 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. That's Levi's first basket of the night. Tommy Taylor with the ball, and they're going to get a timeout. Cardinal Stritch is going to take a timeout and calm the troops down with 3.17 to go from the Stroh Center at Bowling Green State University. The Ottawa Glendorf Titans are rolling in this one, 34-18. Welcome back to the Stroh Center on the campus of Bowling Green State University. OG Titans lead 34-18. Oregon Cardinal Stritch star takes a timeout. What do you suppose Coach said to him? <laughs> that time out, but nothing's going right right now. Well, I think it was basically you tell them right now, we got to slow it down a little bit. Yeah, we, you know, we got to regroup ourselves, play a little half court, get our breath back again, you know. Right now, we're just getting run out of the court. There you see Erford and Mag double team on Hughes. Now swinging around. Owen Yost back in the game for Cardinal Stricks. There's a near steal by Unterbrink. What a great job by him. And there you see a three-pointer from the top of the key. Tommy Taylor, the left-handed shooter, tried to knock it in. It goes off the mark. They'll get it to Hunter Sticks. So Colin White getting ready to check back in the game for the Titans with 2.27 to go. Theo Meg with another rebound. Lunderbring gets a screen from Erford. He'll go to the middle of the floor. He'll bring it back. Schrader dribble drive on the right side. He's bumped on the drive. Comes back out. Owen Carter will bring it down the right side. Finds Hicks down low, and he misses that shot. Nothing going right right now for Oregon Cardinal Stricks. And Ottawa Glandorf's going to take a timeout. With 2.01 to go here until halftime, the Ottawa Glandorf Titans lead 34-18. Tonight's regional semifinalists are presented by Simplified Flooring. We'll install with accuracy and efficiency so you can start enjoying your home new look as soon as possible. That's Simplified Flooring. Our first call sponsor tonight is Production Products Incorporated in Columbus Grove. They are hiring, offering great opportunities to advance and a free on-site medical clinic. Apply today at midwayproducts.com. Yeah, I never thought, well, there's Scott Mag from WSN, our colleague. Yeah? Yeah, Scott's, oh, he's real proud of his baby boy tonight. I'll Theo bet he is. is absolutely dominating tonight. Well, I think that timeout by Tyson was basically because he didn't like the fact that they did get open underneath the basket again. And they've done that a couple times. That's yeah. a great observation. And, and he needed to stop that. Out of Landor, 34-18 with 1.43 to go. They've slowed it down just a little. They've spread the ball out. They've got White on the left side. They'll go back to Steckshaw in a near steal by Burton. Mag comes up to the middle, cuts down low. He's going to take it inside, but the ball was stolen. Stolen by Idro Price, who's checked into the game now. And, and look, Cardinal Stritch is going to have to go to that bench with this kind of pace. Would you not agree, Dar? Oh, I agree. And I don't know what kind of bench they really have. Right. You know. <laughs> what a block. A great block by Hicks. Breon Hicks got up at the highest level, and he knocked it into the foul line. It's corralled by the Cardinals. They'll bring it back down. This is Owen Carter with the ball out top. Well, there's no doubt that Cardinal Stritch has athletes out there. Boy, they can really get up. Well, now you see Ottawa Glendorf. Mag takes a seat. They bring in 6'7", Dave Westrick. I mean, they just they just replace one with another. It's just it's really, really impressive. Well, in the, in the coaching of Ottawa Glendorf, it's obvious they're a very fundamental team, and they rotate really well. They know where everybody's they at do. all the time. Even on defense, they know where everybody's at. There's our, take a look at this. There's a block here. Look at that block by Hicks. He got it really high. Look, Breon Hicks is playing a whale of a game. He and Cam Hughes are big bodied kids. They're just not getting a lot of help on the perimeter right now. No, and Hicks is a second team all Northwest District, so he's a really good player for this Cardinal team. There, the ball was saved out of bounds, and it's going to go back to Ottawa Glendale for 47 seconds to go. Caden Erford will trigger the ball in. They'll get it to Colin White with 45 seconds to go. That's six turnovers now by the Cardinals. 
White is guarded out top by Price, a 5'6 senior. They'll run, they'll run Western to the middle of the floor to help with the press here, or the man, excuse me, the man defense. Burford guarded out top by Price. We're down 19 seconds. White motions for Western to come up and get the ball. That's what makes Otto Glendorf and Colin White so difficult to guard against because you got to put your smaller guys out there on him because he's playing point guard right now. Down to four. There's Erfurt from the corner. Shot goes up. Off the mark. Rebound to Utterbrink. And they do not get a shot off. So after one half of play from the Stroh Center at Bowling Green State University, the Ottawa Glandorf Titans lead the Oregon Cardinals Fruits Cardinals 34-18. We'll have second half action right after these messages. Tonight's halftime adjustments are presented by Lox Chiropractic and Weight Loss. Lox Chiropractic and Weight Loss offers area residents good health through chiropractic care. So let's take a look at some stats here from the first half of play. And Dart, this game dominated by Ottawa Glandorf. You, you look at our stats here. Now, from the floor, Cardinal Stritch is shooting 56%, OG 44. But you look at second chance points, and Ottawa Glandorf has got six. You look at they never let the lead go. You look at uh, interior scoring, they dominated that. You look at uh, now, and, re and kind of odd because rebounding, Cardinal Stritch is two to one, 16 to eight. Yeah, but if you look at the rebounding as well, you know, you're looking at you know a seven to one advantage in offensive rebounds by Ottawa right. Glendorf. So they second chance the points. Yeah, they've got six second chance points. Cardinal Stritch says is zero. So you know. That's one thing Cardinal Stritch is going to have to figure out how to do, get. They're going to have to be able to box out a little bit better, you know, keep out of Glendorf away from that basket as much as they can. You know, and right now, Theo Meg is just playing out of his mind. I mean, he, you know, it's a personal challenge for him in this game, you know, to, to dominate under the boards, and he's doing that. Our halftime adjustments are presented by Lox Chiropractic and Weight Loss. Lox Chiropractic and Weight Loss offers area residents good health through chiropractic care. So the Titans will take it out right in front of us as Colin White backs up to receive the ball. And they lead 34-18. Are, are you surprised at all by the score, Dar? I mean, we knew it would be a tight game. I didn't didn't know it would be a 16-point a, a game at halftime. Well, I'm, I'm not because if you watch Ottawa Glandor, you know, they started out strong right sure. off the bat. Yes, yes. They put the pedal to the metal like they always do, <laughs> you know, and, and they kept that up. And, you know, Cardinal Stritch, what surprised me about Cardinal Stritch is their quickness, for one thing, their ability to get to the basket. They do a nice job of passing to the inside guy, you know, and getting the ball on the inside and getting some buck and buckets on there. But, you know, it's can they keep up the pace that Otto Glendor is going to put in there. You saw them, you know, kind of sucking a little bit of air there towards the end of the first half. Colin White misses the three ball from the right side in the first half for Otto Glendor. Theo Mag had eight points. Hunter Stick showed his six. Colin White, 11. And Caden Erford with seven. Four Cardinal Stritch. Hughes came in with four. Burton with four. Hicks with six. And Taylor with two to round out the scoring for Cardinal Stritch. So we are underway partner here in the second half. Ottawa Glendorf up big 34-18. And, and, you know, Cardinal Stritch, they haven't played that bad. I just don't think they – I think they underestimated the buzzsaw that is Ottawa Glendorf. Well, and I think when you look at him, you, you look at Burton, he's, you know, quick, no doubt about it. <laughs> Burton misses wow. that shot. I think and he was, was wide open. Yeah, you're right. Too wide open. <laughs> he was wide open. Colin White gets it Schrader in the corner. Schrader fires up the three. Comes down to Erford. And the ball is stolen by Burton. Burton gets it out to Taylor. And he just throws it away and it'll go back to Ottawa Glendale. But if you look at, you know, Burton, you know, and a couple of their guards out there, so they're very slim afraid. I you're mean, right. You know, you're they're right. really battling up against an Ottawa Glendale team. If you look at them, there's nobody out there on Ottawa Glendale well, team that isn't, you know, you know, built, you know, strong. Sure. They know where the weight room is. <laughs> yes, they, they certainly do. <laughs> You're absolutely right. And a lot of teams with smallish frame guards, you know, let them finish at the basket. And there you saw Caden Erford with another Dale's Concrete three. Our three-point sponsor is Dale's Concrete. Score big with Dale's Concrete in Deckham Stepping and Lipsick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. Makes it 37-18 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Nice job by Theo Magan there to force him to throw it back out to the outside again. Look 
come the Cardinals. They'll go inside. And a nice job by Cam Hughes of getting behind the defense. He knocks it in, makes it 37-20 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Hughes has six. And I am impressed with that pat, entry pass that Burton's been able to throw in there to use. I mean, yeah, he breaks that defense down, and Hughes just slides back on the left post. And there's no doubt Burton's got that quick step, man. I mean, you, you got to be all over him. And you need help when you're guarding that guy. And there you saw Hunter Stechshaw. He's throwing the ball to Colin White. Colin White cut in, and Stechshaw just missed him on the cut. So the ball will go back to Cardinal Stritch with 6.19 to play, and they're down 37-20. That's only the fourth turnover by Otto Blandor. Pedro Price Jr. is in the game. Swings the ball over to Tommy Taylor. He takes the three from the right side and it goes off the mark. Here comes Colin White in the tights. White's going to take it up with his left hand and he scores and he's fouled. Wow. Colin White goes to the rim and he scores. Our first call sponsor tonight is Production Products Incorporated in Columbus Grove is hiring, offering great opportunities to advance and a free on-site medical clinic. Apply today at midwayproducts.com. Production Products is our first call sponsor. So there you see Colin White, star. He'll go to yeah. the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. You know what, Danny? That's got to be discouraging, too, because he really was guarded well on He that. was. <laughs> Well, it's, it's incredible the way he goes from the foul line to the rim with his length and athleticism, and he's just so smooth about it. You know, and that's, that's definitely got to be discouraging. If you're, you, you do everything you can to guard him, and he still gets past you. And you saw Burton tries to go up against White, misses the shot. Cam Hughes gets the rebound. Burton corrals it. It's taken away by Theo Mag, and Burton's going to foul him. Foul underneath the basket, and you see the frustration there on Christian Burton's face as he's trying to do everything for his team. And you see how well of a, or how good he is. He, he's, you can see he gets to the rim easy. He's got a nice shot. Uh, you're right, he is, he's smallish in frame, but he's not afraid to go to the middle. Oh, and absolutely not. He's fearless when it comes to that. I mean, he definitely will go right at you, you know, because you know he, he has that quickness to get around sure. you. Stechshaw, dribble drive, finds Theo Mag going to the rim, and Theo Mag is is fouled okay, by Cam Hughes, and there you saw the aggressiveness of Theo Mag. Watch this right here. Theo Mag taking it straight up against Hughes, just battling right there. I love the aggressiveness. I what. <laughs> hey, look, if Scott can't do the job of WSN, this young man, I'm sure he could. <laughs> yeah. Theo's just got it in his mind tonight that, you know, hey, I'm going to challenge you guys underneath. This is, you know, I'm going to take it right at you, and you're going to have to try to stop me. Absolutely. Theo's got another shot coming. He's got eight on the night. Five rebounds for the Titans. Second one on the way. And that one drops in. He's in one for four at the foul line now for Theo Mag. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. The Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. And here comes Burton as he'll bring the troops back down. Three ball from the top of the key, and it's good. Tommy Taylor, the left-handed guard, knocks it in. So the Cardinals will take a timeout with 5.14 to play. You see here the shot, a nice smooth delivery. You're watching high school basketball WSN. Tonight's regional semifinal game is presented by Simplified Flooring. We install with accuracy and efficiency so you can start enjoying your home's new look as soon as possible. That's Simplified Flooring. Our timeout sponsor tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Metzger Financial, our timeout sponsor. So Darla, 514 to go. The Titans haven't wasted any time keeping that lead at 40 to 23 and running on all cylinders. Yeah, they are. But, uh, you know, I want to give credit to Cardinals Fritz, too, because this, that's a team that's really playing hard out there. They're coming down there. They're, they're just keeping their, you know, their aggressiveness. They're keeping their speed. You know, they're, you know, Burton's playing his mind out right now. He's just trying to take, you know, take over this game if he can. But, you know, this is Cardinals Fritz team that really is not back down. Well, you look, they're 22-3 and three this year. Now, they've had a taste of the WBL. They played St. Mary's this year. They lost that game. No shame in that. St. Mary's had a yeah. fantastic team this year, as we both know. Uh, so they are familiar with the WBL, but uh, haven't faced the king of the WBL, which they're, they're running into tonight. So. Well, and they had to face St. Mary's Austin Parks as well. So yeah, absolutely. You know. There you see a nice cut there. 
by Grant Schrader as the ball went to Mag on the high post. Grant Schrader cuts down low post. He scores to make it 42-23 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And that's Grant Schrader's first basket tonight. Christian Swilling in the game now for the Cardinals as he takes the shot up. Theo Mag with another rebound. Theo Mag's got six rebounds on the night to lead the Titans. He'll get it out to Steck Schulte. Steck Schulte gets a screen from Mag. Mag cuts the basket. Instead of shooting it, he goes back across to Erford. There's Steck Schulte from the top of the key. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's corralled by Schrader. Gets it out to a driving Colin White. Takes it up on the other side of the basket, and that ball was blocked, and a great job of defending the dribble drive by the Cardinals. Burton on the right side goes up against Erford with 3.59 to go, and they're going to get Caden Erford with the foul. <laughs> Erford kind of looks at the official with a funny look on his face, but uh, not going to change it. No, he's not going to change it. There he now for the Titans, Dave Westrick and Levi Unterberg. Cam Hughes back in the game for the Cardinals, and Oz Owen Yost also coming back into the game. And Erford just got, that's his first foul, so he's in good shape there. Burton will trigger it here in front of our booth. Gets it back to Owen Carter and Coach McLaughlin running it over and back, and I think he was right. Burton will drive left side, takes it up, tries to go under the defense. Ball goes off the mark. Ball's on the floor, and we've got several Titans fighting after the ball. It goes out of bounds. And it went off of Cam Hughes. And there you're seeing a little bit of frustration from the Cardinals star as Cam Hughes and the coaches kind of a little frustrated there. Well, and the thing is, is it, you know, you saw that with Hughes when he got it underneath the, belt, the basket, put the ball down on the floor. Right away, there was an auto glove or a hand stuck in there to knock it away from him. And now you look at the size right now for Ottawa Glendorf with Westrick at 6'7, Erford at 6'4. There's Erford from the right side, off the mark. Er great job by Westrick of batting the ball back to Colin White. This is Levi Unterbrink, dribble drive from the right side. As I was saying, you got Westwick at 6'7. You've got Colin White at 6'6, Erford at 6'4. So a huge height difference. There's Steck Show from the left side off the mark. And there you're going to get Unterbrink going over the back of number 14, Christian Swilling, the 6'2 junior. Well, one of the other things, too, Danny, with this auto team is that you've got to look at the guys that are out there, the reserves that are coming in off the bench. They're all guys that have got plenty of playing time this year because Otto Glendorf's had a lot of blowout games. And, you know, when you look at Cardinal Stritch, I don't know what kind of bench they really have, but I've got a feeling that they haven't had guys get that kind of quality minutes that Otto Glendorf's got his bench has got. And there you saw Christian Burton and Owen Carter fighting over the ball, and the ball goes out of bounds, and they are just very frustrated right now on that Cardinal Stritch bench as they're down 42-23 with 3.01 to go. Steck Schulte from the right side, and he knocks it in, another Dale's Concrete 3. Hunter Steck Schulte knocks it in from way downtown. He makes it 45-23. Here come the Cardinals, and there you saw Idro Price with the jumper, and he gets fouled. He's going to go to the Leeds Famous Recipe line, and he'll shoot three. That foul was on 32, Dave Westry. Westbrook trying to get his hand up there to block that shot and just continuing to his momentum right into the shooter. So Price will go to the line to shoot three. First one on the way. Goes off the mark. And that shot tells the soul story tonight. Doris, he missed everything on that shot. And you just feel for the kids from Cardinal Stritch because not playing their best game of the year. That shot goes way off the mark. These are points they really need when the clock's not running. You know, Cardinal Stritch comes in averaging 63 points a game. Defensively, they give up 51 a game. Like we said, 22 and 3. They've lost to Emmanuel Christian, who was number one in the state at the time. St. Mary's and Maumee Valley Country Day. So they play a really nice schedule. As he misses all three of them. Underbrink gets the rebound. And the Titans continue to lead 45-23. But like you said, Danny, I don't think they've seen anything like the Western Buckeye League. And that's sure. the teams that are in the Western Buckeye League that have to battle each other day in and day out, you know, and are prepared for this kind of game. And we talked about that Saturday at the district finals with Spencerville and Ottawa Glendorf. You know, the schedule Ottawa Glendorf, if, if you don't think it makes you better, you're kidding yourself. Oh. Because it just toughens you up. And, and look, Tyson Glaufin and his staff do a tremendous job. And what, there's oh, a nice... <laughs> 
Hunter stacks away from the left side. It's off the mark, and a rebound by White. Puts it back up, and it goes off the mark. Here comes Burton in the Cardinals. Goes to the corner. Three ball from the left side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. And who are they going to call on that one? I think they're going to get Caleb Burton on the foul. Yeah, they are. They're going to Caleb Burton. So that is Burton's third foul of the night. He's got four points, five rebounds. Boy, he'd be a tremendous loss for the team. He's going to take a bench right well, now. Well, I was going to say, he's, you're not going to see him the rest of the quarter, I'm assuming, with three fouls. They want to save him for the fourth quarter, down 45-23. He's Texas. definitely the fuel the, that yeah, runs this engine. Absolutely. He's the glue guy. Nice job by Steck, Shorty, of getting the ball in. <laughs> And number 10, Brad Mag misses the layup. Brad Mag entering the game now, the 6'2 senior. He, that was a case of being too wide open, don't yeah. you think, Tar? Yeah, getting used to these rims. Well, absolutely. Sure. Well, Brad Mag just entered the ball game, so you know a little bit of nerves there from the young man. And he's got a tough task down low as he's guarding number 21, Cam Hughes. Doing a nice job, though, in front of me. Hughes goes baseline, takes the ball up, off the mark. Rebounds on the floor. It'll go to White. White will bring it down the middle of the floor. He finds Schrader running to the basket. He has to catch it inside. They'll go back into Mag. Mag puts it up in the score. There, there you go, Brad Mag. That a way to compose yourself and knock it in. He makes it 47-23. That's what I'm talking about. You never let problems just build up. They just keep coming at you. And you see Brad Mag misses that shot down there, and he goes right back at it and scores again. There's a nice turnaround jumper there by number 12, Owen Carter, the 5'8 senior, knocks it in, makes it 47-25 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. That's Carter's first basket of the night. <laughs> you see White with a little running jumper there that goes off the mark. Hunter brings dribble drive foul line. They'll bring him back out, and Coach McLaughlin wants to spread it out. Yeah, he wants to slow this down, go for that last shot. White's got 16 to lead all scorers on the night. That's the thing about White, too. He's got 16 points, and you wonder where they came from. <laughs> know. You know, he yeah. came out strong, and then he's been silently building, building ever since. <laughs> he is a fantastic player. 16 seconds ago, Titans holding the ball up 47-25 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Colin White guarded up top by Owen Carter. They'll go back to Stetcher. White goes down the high post, low post, with a turnaround jumper off the mark. Here come the Cardinals. Oh, they nice pass. And a nice, oh, and they missed the layup. Owen oh, Yost misses the layup. So after three quarters of play from the Stroh Center on the campus of Bowling Green State University, the Ottawa Glen Wolf Titans lead the Oregon Cardinals. Chris Cardinals 47 25. We're watching regional basketball on WOS. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is provided by Ultimate Outdoor. I had a distributor with a structure for X, Ultimate Outdoor, a division of all seamless spouses. And our instant replays are made possible by Beckman Jewelers in downtown Ottawa. Let us help you find that perfect gift for the ones you love. So Cardinal Stritch will bring the ball out. 7.53 to go here in the fourth quarter. Christian Burton back in there for him. And he wasn't going to stay on the sidelines no. very long. they got to have that young man in the game. Burton's got four, but he's got four. Also, he's got five assists, and he leads this team. And a nice three-pointer there. Makes it 47-28 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Seven points for him. Keep in mind, he had 14 in the final 20 against Huron. So he's a, he's a guy you got to watch out for. He can light it up, absolutely. We talked about that pregame you and I about how he can really score in bunches. And there you saw Mag compose himself and a little grimace on his face. Colin, or excuse me, Erford takes it up from the left side as he's knocked down. And they're really letting him play right now. There's Burton from three-point land, and he knocks it in. It again. Christian Burton. Knocks in the triple, another Dale's Concrete three, and it's 47-31, and the Cardinals are showing some life. And that's uh, 10 points now for Burton. Stetschler goes inside to Mag. Mag turns around, faces the basket. He'll dribble drive, and a nice oh. job. You knew that was coming. <laughs> Theo Mag says, I can go up, I can go under, and I can score the bucket. You Makes can it see it in Theo's <laughs> eyes, too, boy. He says, oh, yeah. I'm going right past it's you. It's like he's playing for you and I, Dar. 
<laughs> There's the outlet. Schrader gets it stolen. Schrader had eyes on getting it to Colin White. Here come the Cardinals. Shot goes up, and a nice job of Christian Swilling getting to the bucket. And it's 49-33 with 6.17 to go. So a nice little run by the Cardinals here. That's Swilling's first basket. There's Theo Mag. He dribble drives the foul line, kicks it out to Erford. Erford tries to take it up. The ball's blocked. He's out of bounds, and we're back to the Titans. As I said, Theo Mag, we're, we're, we're his cheerleaders right now. <laughs> uh, he's playing his heart out he this is, game. Yeah, I tell you what, he's playing a great game. He is, I'm telling you. <laughs> They're going to get to the regional finals, and he's going to be a huge part of it. He certainly will be. So Erford will trigger the ball in underneath their basket. White cut down to the basket. They'll get it, the ball to him. Erford from the left side. Off the marks, and a rebound by White. Puts it back in. Colin White with a nice rebound and a putback. With 5.51 to go, the Titans flexing their muscles. And it's 51-33 from Bowling Green State University. Tonight's regional semifinal game is presented by Simplified Flooring. We install with accuracy and efficiency so you can start enjoying your home's new look as soon as possible. That's Simplified Flooring. Timeout tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 5.51 to go from the Stroh Center. Danny Holbrook, Dar never gone, bringing you regional semifinal action to WSN. Titans dominating all through the night up 51-33. Yeah, Cardinal Stroh putting on a little bit of a comeback, but not much. It's a steal by Underbrink out top. He'll go to Stexioli on the wing. Stexioli skipped past the white. Erford from the top of the key, off the mark. Rebound comes down, and Hunter Stexley tracks it down. And there you see second chance points are just killing the Cardinals right now. Oh, absolutely. And those long three three rebounds that you get like that, you know, usually are going to go to Otto Glendor. There's White dribble drive up the baseline. A little reverse spin. He misses that shot. Ball comes down. Dar, here's the thing. These kids from Ottawa Glendorf, there's a three ball on the way, and it's good from the right side. There you saw Owen Yost knocks in another Dale's Concrete three. And what Colin a, White's playing without a shoe right now. <laughs> He's got no shoe on. <laughs> They're going to take a timeout on the floor here so White can get it on the shoe. And what I was saying was they all do the dirty work. They oh. all hustle after loose balls. They're all on the floor. They all rebound. And that is an indication of how hard they're coached up because these kids don't quit. Oh, no, and, and, you know, they can't quit. And, you know, like I said, the WBL is one of those leagues. It's a hard-fought league. You've got a lot of aggressive players in that league. You've got to go after all the 50-50 balls. You've got to get everything you can get. You know, you know, they had some close games this year against Defiance, you know, and, and those kind of, and St. Mary's and, you know, Bam Wirt, you know, so they've, they've done their dues to get to this point. And, and you look at those losses, two of them are by a single point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And a nice oh, job man. Hunter Stexley with the first call of the night by Productions Products Incorporated in Columbus Grove is hiring, offering great opportunities to advance in a free on-site medical clinic. Apply today at MidwayProducts.com. Watch this, Star. A little dipsy do from the left side, and he puts it in. What a great job of controlling his body and using his left hand. Yeah, they've been shooting those all night long. They've come up short on a couple of them, but it's a great move for them. <laughs> he knocks in another Leeds Famous Recipe free throw. Makes it 54-36 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Just when the Cardinals Fritz thought they had a little bit of life, Otto Glendorf comes right back and shuts the door on him. 4.33 to go here in the regional semifinal. The winner will move on to play Wayne Trace. Coach Linder's Raiders got a big win tonight against Canton Central Catholic and Coach Matt Kramer. A great game, the first one. Low scoring game, but still a great game for a lid lifter here from Bowen Green. That's Hicks' first basket of the second half. He's got eight on the night now. 54-38. There's a dribble drive by Stecholdy and a great job. Hunter Stecholdy, he knocks in the deuce. He's got 14 on the night, and he makes it 56-38. Oh, nice, nice move. Nice drive by Burton there as he tries to get to the rim. I'll give that young man credit. He is fearless. He is not afraid to go to that basket, no matter who's in front of him. Check out after the game our Stolly Hustle Award winner. You can check out Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WSN YouTube page for tonight's game. 
3.45 to go here. Push the ball inside. That ball's blocked. Colin White. Hicks takes it up, and White blocks it. They try to go back inside, and it's stolen away by Erford with 3.33 to go. White finds Unterbrink on the right side. Finds a diving Caden Erford, excuse me, as he was diving to the rim. And he's going to go to the Lee's famous recipe foul line as he's fouled in the action of taking a shot there. Uh, that's 12 turnovers for the Cardinals, and Otto Glendorf has made them pay for those. They've got 11 points now off the turnovers. Watch here on the Beckman Jewelers replay there. Great job of getting down the floor. Erford makes the first one. He's got 10 on the night. Makes it 57-38 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. That's four players now for Otto Glendorf in double figures. Schrader checks in for Unterbrink. All five starters on the floor for the Titans. He knocks in the second one. Make it 58-38. It's a 20-point lead with 3.24 to go. Burton tries to dribble drive, gets it out to Price. Price finds a cutting. Carter as he goes back door. Ball goes out of bounds. And I'm going to say it goes back to Cardinal Stritch. So a great season for Cardinal Stritch. They were the district runner-up last year. So they get over the hump. They win a district title, which is a great thing for any program. They get to the regionals and just fall short here to the number one team in the state. Yeah, they, you know, they did have a good season. I mean, 20, they'll finish at 20, 23 and 4, or right. 22 and 4. 22 and 4, yeah. Which is a good season for any team. Three ball from the left side. Colin White, that's off the mark. It's going to go out of bounds. So Colin White misses that shot. you got to be impressed with those guys, though. There's another example for the OG Titans. Colin White missed that shot, but then he dives out of bounds to try to retrieve the ball as well. <laughs> they are very, very impressive. The, the look on the, the folks to the left of us here on Media Road, they've never seen Ottawa Glendorf play, and they wanted to know all about him. And my goodness, they are just so impressed right now. Kind of like I said, it's not just the starting five for, for the no, Titans. It's the, it's the bench team. as well. Yeah. You know, they bring in guys, you know, they're getting a lot of good minutes all season long, and they play their hearts out when they come in. They play the same fundamental basketball. There's a nice <laughs> Levi Hunterbrink with a dribble drive to the rim, and he makes it 60-38 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. That's four points now for Hunterbrink. Burton tries to go in, a little turnaround jumper, and that ball goes off the mark. Rebound's going to come down to Schrader. Schrader gets it out to Erford, and with 2.33 to go. Ottawa Blanco clearly in control of this one. Yeah, now they're going to slow it down a little bit. You'll see a couple more players for Otto Glendor come into the game. Yeah, they're going to bring in Brad Mag, the senior, and Ryan Ross, the 6'1 senior. Also entering the game for Otto Glendor, who's number one, Ty Buckland, the 5'10 senior. So hey, it's nice to see these kids get rewarded with playing time in a regional semifinal game. Oh, absolutely. Really Coach McLaughlin does a great job of doing that for his kids. And he'll get his starters out of there with a nice round of applause. And there you see Cam Hughes is going to foul Grant Schrader, and Grant Schrader is going to go to the Leeds Famous Rescue foul line. Well, and they're building for your future as well, you know, with the kids that are coming in here, and, and that's one thing for Ottawa Glendorf. They don't ever rebuild. They just reload, it seems like, every year. Year in and year out, and if you go over in Putnam County, all you see is kids out there in, on the driveway shooting baskets, you know. Schrader misses the first one. So Colin White, Caden Erford will take a seat. And looks like Buckland's going to come in for Schrader, the shooter. So Colin White finishes the night with 15. Caden Erford finishes with 12. And that shot goes off the mark. And Ty Buckland says, hey, you need to make that so I can get the game. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> There's a nice drive by number two, Breon Hicks. So Cardinal Stritch will take a timeout with 151 to go here. Look, with 151, yeah. Let's take a break here with 151 to go. We come back, we'll wrap this one up. From the Stroh Center, campus of Bowling Green State University. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima. Wapak and Delphus call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. 
Our Spring to Life campaign, it's time to spring to life with WSN and TV 44. And your spring funding campaign is underway now. Please partner with us by giving a financial donation in any amount. Our campaign goal is $50,000 by Mother's Day. Donate online at WTOW.com slash donate. So, Dar, we're looking here at a regional championship matchup. Ottawa Glandorf, there's a three ball from the right side. It's off the mark. Ottawa Glandorf, Wayne Trace. I said earlier in the year, I really like Brooks Lockoff from Wayne Trace. I believe he, he reminds me so much of Colin White. I think it's going to be a great matchup. I think it will be, too, between those guys. The, the, what's going to happen in that game is, is just what happened in this game. Yeah, I think <laughs> you're right. It's not just Colin White. I mean, it's, it's Theo Mag, it's Erford. You know, Steck Schulte, it's all these other guys that are out there They as just well. wear you down. You know, you can't key on Colin White. You can't key on one person alone. You've got to be able to, to guard all of them. And that's a tough assignment for any team. <laughs> it's a tough sell. You're right. Ottawa Glendorf up 60-40. Well, there's a three ball on the way. It's off the mark. <laughs> the student section for Ottawa Glendorf <laughs> wanted that to fall so bad. You know, they love those kids coming off the bench, and uh, <laughs> there's a lot of smiles in the crowd right now. Yeah, even on Ryan Ross when he got that thing. <laughs> Ryan, we were rooting for you, bud. <laughs> there's Burton with a dribble drive. He'll take it inside. He's fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line. So no quit in Christian Burton, the 5'10 senior. This is his last game in a Cardinal Stritch uniform, and you know he's going to play to the end. He certainly is. That's 12 points now for him going for his is 13 points, averaging just under 17 points coming into this game. Fire that one up and missed that one. Dave West with the rebound. And here come the Titans up the left side. Levi Hunter playing the wing ball. He'll get it out. There it is. And a nice job by there Ryan Ross. There you go, Ryan. Nice job running the floor. He gets rewarded, knocks it in, and makes it 62-42 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. There you see. Burton takes it back inside. He's fouled again. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Here you see on our Beckman Jewelers instant replay, physical play continues oh, yeah. here in the fourth quarter. Makes me hurt just watching. That young man's going to be tired tomorrow, I'll He's tell you what. He's going to be checking bruises right. all over him, too. You're so right, Dar. He'll let the first one fly and knock it in. It's another Lee's famous recipe free throw. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapakadelphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Did you know WSN is a viewer-supported nonprofit ministry? Every spring we launch a spring funding campaign. Would you make a donation? Our goal is $50,000. Donate online at WTOW.com slash donate or call 419-339-4444. The Spring to Life funding campaign continues through Mother's Day. And a great opportunity for our viewers to donate. And we continue bringing these great sporting events to all of the viewing area. We're down to 20 seconds, and the Titans will wrap this one up, 62-43. The Cardinals still out there pressing as hard as they can. <laughs> they are. And the blue and gold will come to life, and that will wrap it up. The Ottawa Glendorf Titans in the Division III Regional Semifinal. They win this one 62-43. When we come back, we'll have our Stolly Hustle Award winner tonight, and we'll wrap this one up from the campus of Bowling Green State University.